the first thing you do after finals when you're back home is you think about what to do to fix your car. So today we're going to repaint the lip of the car. So the front lip has been chipped. Many parts of it have been chipped. And I literally just woke up and thought about it. So I just took it off and we're gonna repaint it. Let's go. If you could tell but you could see the paint chips all along here it's like chipped all the way here's really bad so we're gonna paint everything you want to see how ugly the face of my car is right now without the lip it looks like it has no chin BAM it literally ha it looks like it has no chin like it's it looks so weird I had to do this a few times um, because I was I think I was changing the oil or whatever for this car um, with an old lip there's like a board there was like a board that it went further back in towards the street shield and that completely blocked like the whole oil filter and everything so but with the new lip, like the board, the back board that goes all the way back, it's like shorter now. So it's able to reach all the stuff in the on the bottom. So at least, at least that's good. But look how weird this is, guys. It's so weird. This is the street shield I'm talking about. Like it's... That's the street shield. But look how beat up it is. <laughs> Just for how old or kind of old this car is. So the kind of payment. I'm not sure what that sound was. But anyways, the kind of paint we're going to be using is flat black. Um, it has primer in it as well. It is... I got this at Home Depot and actually for all the paint that we did for the spoiler... The side mirrors and everything, it's all been with this. I haven't used Plasti Dip. And the only reason why I don't want to use Plasti Dip is because it gives like a rough texture, even though it's just, it's supposed to be matte black or whatever matte color you have with Plasti Dip, but it gives it like a rough texture. I don't know why, even though you put like so many layers of coats. But for this one, it's all smooth. Like it, it really looks clean for a matte black. Like everything here, the spoiler being all smooth, that's from that, that paint over there. And then, and then you have this, like everything. All, all the trims that I did for this car is all been used with that paint, not even Plasti Dip. But this part, yeah, this part is wrapped. So that's why it's like all smooth and everything.
what you do. I mean, I'm gonna do it for about like five coats. So it'll probably be like 10, 15, no, about like 15 minutes each per coat, just letting it air dry. Um, the only reason why I couldn't do it in the garage was well, obviously all this. Um, this is my house, my house in Bay Area. Um, obviously I don't have, I don't have space, so I had to do it out there in the whiteness. But yeah guys, um, that's, I know it's a short, another short video, but it's the first day of Lockmas videos, so again, I have work Monday through Thursday, so I'm going to try my best to be able to vlog as much as possible. If anything is going to be on the weekends, probably mo more often I will vlog during the weekend just because I'm free. But um, I've been busy, you know, with family and stuff like that w when I came back Friday and Saturday, so I couldn't really vlog. I apologize for that, guys. But today uh, I am able to finally, and I'm finally back on working on this car. But you know, not putting more money into it, just revitalizing all the parts for this car that like worn out and whatnot. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's what you do for painting the lip. Um, I have about like five coats or three, about like three, four coats left. Um, again, like 10, 15 minutes each, waiting on it just to you know kind of air dry. But that's pretty much what you do. Um, once I'm done, I'm gonna be putting it back on here. So I'll catch you guys later. I'll keep you guys updated as always. See ya.